Hello there, my name is Thales Donizetti and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Hi everyone, so today what I'm going to try to do here is to clarify a little bit more on how to use and how to leverage constants in all tracks. And that's a question that a lot of people that have programming background uh, ask because uh, they, they, they don't really know how to find a, uh, a, an easy way to, um, to, to, to locate those, uh, those constants in all tracks and how to manage them. So let's start speaking about the, the, the constant menu that, you, that can be found in when you click on the workflow tab you're gonna see there are constants menu where you can find the type of the constants and references of, of those specific constants like the name and the value okay so that's where where you're gonna manage your constants and you have to know that there are five constants that all that will always come with any workflow that you create or open in objects, which are the engine constants. Okay, and they, they cannot be changed manually. You can see like you cannot edit them because they come, they're, they're values or property values uh, that uh, are specific to your workflow. So you have temp file path. That's where the engine will write any temporary files uh, if needed. Like uh, when you're dealing with, with data in all tricks, Altrix is basically producing temporary files to store that data if it needs to. So uh, you're gonna have the temp file path, uh, you're gonna have the version of Altrix, so you, if you ever need to use that, you have the workflow directory, uh, basically where your workflow is saved at, at the moment. Um, and if it's not uh, saved yet, it's going to use the, uh, the Altrix in installation directory. So like again, I have a new workflow here that's using the installation directory here. And uh, you're going to find the workflow file name and that changes based on how you save the workflow. And uh, the GUI interaction is basically telling you if this workflow is being run by your interface, like we have Altrix Designer open, so this is they, this is set to true. But if it was run, like for example, Memby uh, or the server, it wouldn't have any way interaction. So it's set to false. Okay. So these are the five engine constants that you can use, and you can add constants here. You can add your own, and these are user constants. So you can give it a name, like you can say like. Um, I don't know, like uh, number, right? And set to a number like 10, right? So this, then Autrix creates that constant value and that can be passed through all of your workflow and all of your tools if needed. Okay, and I'm gonna explain this briefly. So, uh, are these all the kinds of constants that you have, just engine and user? No, the question, the question to that, uh, the answer to that would be no. So if you bring a, any interface tools to, to your canvas, you're going to see that uh, you're going to add up a new different constant that is called question. So let's do that. Let's try to drag uh, a, a text box, let's say, okay, to the canvas. And once you go back to the constant menu, you can see that uh, question type constant was created and basically uh, for those who don't know that it's basically telling you that uh, if you want to reference that value that will be passed through this interface to maybe through a macro or through a analytic app for example uh, this value will be passed as uh, this this variable let's say it's not even a constant it will be a variable if we think about it Okay, 
So these are automatically added at any time you add an interface to it here. And we'll have the name of the tool that you can define. Uh, that you can define basically in the annotations. Uh, if you go here, if you change this name, if I change it to like, um, I don't know, uh, plain text, uh, right? Um, I can see it that it changes here to reference. So uh, that's a way to track that. Um, basically then, uh, now we have uh, all the types of content. So how we're gonna use them. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention, uh, if it's, for example, this constant here is numeric. So there is this field here where you can set it to numeric if you want to. Okay, so this will, Altrix will consider this value as a numeric value, not a string value. Okay. Um, so how, how can I use this constant now in my workflow? So there are a couple of different ways that you can use it. And one really easy way, and I, I would say I recommend that for any, um, any other tool is uh, referencing the constant by using a uh, percentage type of the concept which will be engine user or question in that case I'm going to use user it was uh, the constant that I created then you're going to add a point here and add number which is the name of my constant the name of the constant that I recently created Okay, and then you're going to close the percentage here and look look at the magic let me delete that really quick Look at the magic here. If I run this, you can see it's not referencing referencing uh, a um, a specific string here because, like you know, like if I wrote anything in the text input, I should see my string here that I typed here, right? But no, it's referencing the constant because that's what the system, what the Altrix system uses to uh, store those constant values. Okay, so anytime you you need to reference the constant, that would work not just for the user user constants, it would work also for the engine constants if you need to. Okay, or the question constants, like uh, the interface algorithms that I mentioned. That's an easy way to reference uh, constants, but you can also reference them in the formal tool. But let me add a formal tool here. If you like, if I'm I'm gonna I'm trying to find the engine. Right, so if I do that, if I open here a, a bracket, I can see that I can reference uh, the, this constants as well in the formula to in a different way. They're already there. So if I click here in engine version, it'll show up to me. But there's also another way of doing that. If I wanted to, uh, I mean, I want to reference the engine version. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to create a different view. So I can also reference that by opening uh, a quote here, like I would, I would type a string or something, and I would do the same thing I did with the text input tool, and, uh, and close the string here, and see, right now it says I'm trying to uh, write a string, but if I run this, I will get the same result as my engine version. So look at the magic here. So, uh, again, what you need to know is that basically Altrix stores uh, those uh, those constant values as in this format, as percentage, type of constant, point, name of the constant, close percentage. That's it. And you can reference that in any other tool, not just in the text input tool, not just in the formula tool. You could add it in any other tool that you wanted. Okay. Um, that this would be recognized okay so like any other tool that would use formulas or uh, maybe something that you need to reference uh, by any chance okay, so that's how you would use constants in Autrix if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos please comment below don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted thanks for watching